Okay, so we're back. Um, the last video we did was about what not to do with armor, and now Cass is going to discuss everything you should do with armor. Everything, relatively speaking. All of it. All of it's it. All going to be in there. Every last thing. That's right. Yeah. Let's so, I can get it up. This is Mark II of the armor. It's 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 modular. There's no no ring in the back. Both parts can kind of do what they want. I've got I've got pocket. I've got pocket. I've got up. I've got down. Across the front, behind. So, what did you like about this design in terms of armor? Like wearability or functionality? Both. Both. So, wearability without the O-ring, there's nothing like holding them in place, so you'd have a lot more freedom to just kind of wiggle around. Mm -hmm. And then, if you want to, you know, say you want to pop one off, you can just take it off. You're good to go. You still got the other one. Movie magic, though. Movie magic. Um, and then the other thing that I like about this design, Brandon's got the other one. I've got this is the old one. It is one piece of leather down the middle. Mm -hmm. That one is two pieces of leather. They're thinner and a little further apart. Two strips. So when you're bending like this, it's not such a big deal. But when you start adding torque and sideways movement, mm -hmm. this has a lot more bulk and volume to get in the way of your movement than that does. Right. So we got the torque here. So even though they both are the same that way, it's just less material on the inside. You might think it helps with padding, but I don't really notice that much of a difference. It's just that that has more flexibility than this does. That's right. And so when you flip it over, the other thing about Cass's design, so if Cass has Mark 1, Mark 2 was actually designed so as the parts move and articulate with the shoulder they still nest within each other and if you notice on the other one there's very limited range of motion and that's due to one the geometry of the metal plate and two Cass's lovely double strip design in the second one so this is significantly more wearable significantly right significantly more wearable right so that's that's really what we want to show you with what you're trying to consider yes all right Is that all you want to talk about, or is that? Is uh, that I it? think that's good for these. Okay. Yeah, just the improvements between the first one and the second one really make a big difference. So. Right. So it's really about finding range of motion when you do your design. Yeah. It's, it might feel good in your template, but metal and leather are a lot less. Uh, right. Less forgiving. <laughs>